Heinemann Higher, chapter 9 integration, mixed questions, 9 out at the end. Number 10. The graph of a function passes through the point 2, 1, and the gradients of the tangents are given by, I could just have said given by this expression, and you'd have to figure it yourself whether well, the gradients are given by divided by dx, but you have to find the actual equation of the function. There's some function or other given by this thing here, and it tells you it passes through the point 2, 1. So that's you hope, that lets you hold in the constant. Well, the first bit would be this thing. So how could it get back to y? It's been differentiated. I'll need to anti-differentiate it. That would be the integral. And there's not an awful lot to that, because that's just the constant's going to go back up to linear term. x will go back up to x squared. Add 1 to the power, divide by the power, divided by 5 by 2. And there might have been some constant. Now, that means I need some extra information to find that constant. Well, since this refers to this graph, any point on it will do, and it's giving me a point on it. So I could say that I've got the point 2, 1, which means if I put 1 for the y-coordinate and 2 for the x-coordinate, so 2 times 2 minus 5 up and 2 times 2 squared, I'll be able to work out C because it's the only thing left that isn't a number. So I've got 1's equal to 4 minus, that looks 1 of the 2, so that's minus 10 plus C. So then I've got negative 6 for that, adding it over, 7. C equals 7. So the equation is, quite simply, the original equation must have been 2x minus 5 up and 2 x squared plus 7. Just leaving it in that jumbled up form. Maybe I should have put it as 7 plus 2x minus 5 up and 2x squared.